It's a new toy that's becoming so popular, some Hawaii schools are telling parents it has to be left at home. It's called a fidget spinner, a toy that's original purpose was to help people who may have problems with fidgeting. Stores say the spinners have recently become wildly popular thanks to social media. But we've learned the Department of Education will be taking a close look at the spinners to figure out if they're a helpful tool or a distraction. Alexander Zanes has more on what parents need to know. Alexander? Joe, the tagline for the fidget spinners goes something like this, helping fidgeters by fulfilling their fidget fixation. And with the toys rise in popularity and the comparison to the kandama of past years, schools are starting to take notice. At the Razor Sports Store in Pearl Ridge, the fidget spinners have been spinning their way off shelves and into the hands of children. Then it turned into a game for the kids. And uh, basically, I want to say our, the biggest thing is our Kendama customers now became spinner customers. With dozens of different styles and prices ranging from around $15 to $100, it's been hard to keep track of just how many have been sold. It's really hard to tell because we go from either a full case to completely sold out to a case and then it, it goes by every weekend. It's hard to get an accurate number, but many. The toy was originally made for adults who could benefit from something occupying their hands and has even been marketed as a tool to combat symptoms of ADHD. But because it's a toy, some Hawaii schools are asking parents to keep the spinners at home. Right now, the Department of Education says it's leaving it up to the principals and superintendents as to how to deal with the influx of fidget spinners. I have heard that many students receive these in their Easter baskets and that some of our schools are classifying them as toys. Going forward, uh, I intend to find out whether or not uh, all of our schools are adhering to that kind of a policy or whether those spinners can be useful in some way for students. As for the toys use as a treatment for ADHD, Brittany Robinson, a PhD in psychology with Hawaii Pacific University, tells me more research would have to be conducted to say whether or not the toy could help, but she says it can have other uses. I would say that in general the tool might be useful as a sort of a recreational uh, tool and something that we can give to kids to have fun when, when we're rewarding them or when they have time to have fun in a school context, but not as much for helping them to focus on things that they need to focus on in the classroom. And again, right now, there is no blanket policy regarding the fidget spinners, although various schools have sent letters home regarding the toy. If you'd like to know whether or not your child can bring one to school, you can contact school administrators to find out. Alexander Zanes, KHON, 2 News.